we get into the actual sanding and polishing on these frets, there's one thing I've noticed that I want to address before I do. And it's the fact that this guitar's neck, or at least the neck wood, has shrunk just enough to leave these fret ends a little sharp. And it's, it's pretty common. Every guitar will eventually see this problem. So what you want to do is you want to make sure and take care of any filing process on these frets before you start sanding and polishing. Otherwise you leave a kind of a rough filed unpolished edge. A couple of different tools that I'll generally use for these fret ends. One's a specialty tool and one's a very common tool. And I don't really have a big preference one way or the other. If I didn't have one I wouldn't have any problem with using the other. The first one I'll show you is just your basic, I, I believe it's called a mill file. It's just a single cut, relatively fine tooth file. And one thing I'll do with pretty much any file I'll use, uh, I rarely notice a file that's actually straight and I use that to my advantage. On this file I'm seeing that there's a slight curvature, I'll sight down it, and there's a slight curvature this way. So what I'll do is I'll use it in this way, kind of like a ski along the neck. I don't want the side, I wouldn't want it going this way, having an, an end slightly going that way, digging into the neck. So I'll run the slightly uphill, slightly, I'll call it a ski tip direction, I'll run that away from the neck so it doesn't dig into the neck at this end here. Now the other tool is a what do you want to call it? It's a file held in a block of wood at an angle, which tends to be a 35 degree angle, and it helps us achieve the, you know, the desired 35 degree or so angle on the ends of the frets. And I'll also also like to come slightly into the corner of the fingerboard rather than leave this edge sharp. I actually like to take this fret end bevel completely across all the frets and also slightly down into the binding or the corner of the fingerboard. Uh, now the only the only time you don't want to do this or you want to be very careful with it is if you've got a maple, let's say a Tele style neck that's painted and that's maple. You've only, you can only do the fret ends in that case and you pretty much have to accept whatever angle the uh, the fingerboard is beveled at. But in this case, it's, it's completely okay to take that angle down into the uh, side of the fingerboard. And it's kind of personal preference. You can make a bigger or smaller flat depending on personal preference, but it makes for a pretty comfortable neck if you do have a slight bevel here rather than this sharp edge. 